In the midst of the holiday season and flu season, a newly evolved strain of the coronavirus has scientists and world leaders moving rapidly to prevent another deadly outbreak. It's something that has emerged in South Africa and seems to be spreading in a, at a reasonably rapid rate. The World Health Organization has named the new coronavirus variant Omicron. While it's still primarily infecting people in a handful of African countries, countries around the world are taking active measures to limit travel and exposure to people from the infected countries. However, breakthrough cases are already starting to emerge elsewhere. The United Kingdom, Germany, and Italy, as well as others, have all now confirmed several of their citizens have tested positive for the new variant and are experiencing mild symptoms back home. So far, there are no official Omicron cases in the U.S., but scientists warn that could change any day. President Joe Biden announced a travel ban on the countries in Africa where the new COVID strain is currently spreading out of control. We don't know a lot about the variant except that it is a great concern. It seems to spread rapidly and we're, I spent about a half hour this morning with my COVID team led by Dr. Biden says the best thing everyone can do right now is continue to get vaccinated against COVID-19 and receive their booster shots. Despite that, scientists are expressing doubt over whether or not the current COVID vaccines can protect someone against Omicron as effectively as they can for all the past coronavirus strains. Biological experts say Omicron is significantly different than the rest that we've seen so far. Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson are all testing their vaccines with Omicron to see if they will still work as is. But it'll take a few weeks before they have conclusive results. Meanwhile, New York Governor Kathy Hochul has already declared a state of emergency in anticipation of a potential spike in Omicron cases.